Hey, I'm Joshua Bassett, and today I'm going to be playing Fanny Out with MTV. I am personally a huge fan of Pixar, so they have put together questions to ask me and test my knowledge on some Pixar movies and to talk more about how much of a fan I am of Pixar. So it's going to be lots of fun. Here we go. In the Pixar movie Finding Nemo, what type of fish are Marlin and Nemo? A. Goldfish. B. Yellow Tang. C. Clownfish. And D. Royal Grandma? Gr Grandma? Grandma? I don't know how to say that one, but I'm pretty sure that they are not that. For whatever reason, I thought for a second they were goldfish, but they're not. They're clownfish. Everyone knows that. Nemo's a clownfish. So is his dad. Clownfish. By the way, Finding Nemo is also a favorite. A staple in my childhood. I don't know what my childhood would be without my Nemo. Ooh, okay. James P. Sullivan and Mike Wazowski are characters from which Pixar movie? A. Up. B. Monsters Inc. C. Wally. Love Wally. And D. Soul. Well, I happen to know that Mike Wazowski is from Monsters Inc., so I am going with option B. Monsters Inc. And we got it right. We out here. Next question. Which heartwarming song in Toy Story reassures us that no matter how rough the road gets, you can always count on your old pal? Is it A, Woody's Roundup, B, Touch the Sky, C, Strange Things, or D, You've Got a Friend in Me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with the classic Randy Newman, You've Got a Friend in Me. Oh, that song always hits every time. It's just one of those songs that like, It'll one, bring me back to the boardwalk at Disneyland, or I guess California Adventure. Every time I hear that, I'm like, oh, because they play that there all the time. But, um, you know, you've got a friend of me. What a, what a great song. What a simple, just like excellent philosophy. You've got a friend of me. When Mike and Sully get caught trying to put Boo back, which line does Mike start singing as he pretends to rehearse for the company play? A, you won't believe your eye. B, put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. C, don't let anyone tell you you're not scary. Or D, we think they are scary, but we really scare them. I can't read. Um, B is the answer. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me, so help me, or something like that. I just, that's a very niche memory that is in my brain forever. Which country band put their own spin on the legendary song, Life is a Highway? Pixar film Cars. A. The Judds. B. Lady A. C. Dixie Chicks. Or D. Good old Rascal Flats. How could I get that one wrong? I would love to believe that it was the Dixie Chicks, but we all know it was Rascal Flats. And that is a song that I don't think I've been on a road trip in the last five years, and I have not listened to that at least once. I don't know. It's like, how can you? That's almost criminal to get through an entire road trip without listening to Life is a Highway by Russell Flats. These are easy. Which Pixar film introduces us to a pilot named Charles Muntz, who inspires Carl and Ellie with his slogan, Adventure is out there. I literally, this shows you how emotionally connected I am to Pixar. I'm like, cry, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm literally, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm tearing up. A is Coco, B is Up, C is A Bug's Life, and D is The Incredibles. The answer is B Up, and I'm literally crying. Someone want to explain this to me? What's going on right now? Because I'm literally just doing an interview talking about the slogan, Adventure is Out There with Carl and Ellie, and I'm crying. So here we are. We really are here. It is 2021. It's just sometimes it's <laughs> that's how it'll be. What is the main character's name of the clumsy but ever so inventive ant in the movie A Bug's Life? A, Princess Leia. B, Flick. C, Napoleon. Or D, Hopper. Ugh, I think Hopper's the villain. This is tough because I think I've seen the Bugs Life once. Um, I, if I remember correctly, Hopper is the bad guy. I hope I'm right about that. Hopper is the bad guy, and the hero is Flick, the good guy. Everyone loves Flick, right? Who composed, conducted, and performed the soundtrack album from the film Toy Story? Is it A. Danny Elfman, B. John Williams, C. Randy Newman, or D. Hans Zimmer? These are all great options. Very much targeted to stump me, but uh, I'm too good at this game, and I'd have to say C, Randy Newman. Booyah, let's go. As Wally is left behind to clean up the masses of garbage left on Earth, who is his sole companion? Is it A, a dog? B, a cockroach? C, another waste allocation, loaf lifter? Or D, a squirrel? 
It is option B, a cockroach. This Pixar somehow made a cockroach really cute and really like petable, like a, not petable, but like you could have them as a pet. What's the word for petable? I don't know. No, like you, I don't want to pet the cockroach. Like I have it as a pet. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, Pixar is like the only voice that can make you love a cockroach. In the film The Incredibles, Helen Parr is the steadfast mother who is also known by which superhero name? Is it A, Ice Queen, B, Wonder Woman, C, Elastigirl, or D, Elektra? Elastigirl, duh, that's like the easiest one. Which movie stars a tiny rodent who dreams of one day being a great chef? Is it A, Rats? I, knowing Pixar, they would pull something like that considering their movies are called Cars. B, Luca. C, Ratatouille, or D, Onward. Well, uh, I can't imagine a world in which I got this answer wrong, but uh, C, Ratatouille. Because it, it's, I mean, yeah, that's just the answer. But also, Ratatouille is one of the best Pixar movies, if not one of the best movies ever made. From the soundtrack, to the story, to the concept, to the characters, to all of it. The movie Brave is based in which country? A, Scotland, B, France, C, Germany, D, Russia. Uh, I don't imagine that would ever make sense if she was in Russia uh, or really Germany or France. I would love to see that character growth if she went to both of, all three of those places. But uh, the correct answer is A, Scotland. True or false? Here we go. This is the tough stuff. True or false, the Pixar film Inside Out personifies these five major emotions. Joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust. Disgust is the one that I can't remember. I don't remember there being a disgust. I don't remember what the other emotion was, so that's why I'm like, oh. Joy, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna say true. I'm gonna say true. Yes, okay, woof. The main character in Soul is a middle school music teacher named Joe who plays the trumpet. That is true. Right? Yeah, he's a, yeah. He also plays the piano, but yes. Oh, no! Wait, maybe it is false. Oh, shoot. True or false? The Pixar film Coco is about a young boy named Miguel who one day dreams of becoming an accomplished musician. How could I forget about Coco? Oh my god. Yeah, I would say that that is true. Yeah, that is true. Oh, jeez, right off the bat. Like Rexy or... Is it Rexy? Oh, shoot! He's better than he thought. Rex, close enough. Uh, who is this tow truck voiced by Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> um, that is Mater. All right, what is the name of the great white shark who says, I'm a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine? I don't know, I don't know the name of this shark, if I'm being honest. I don't think that I, there's any part of my brain that knows it. Bruce! Okay, I actually do remember Bruce. According to Wally, what is his love interest name? Eva? Or wait, no, according to Wally, yeah, it's Eva. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I mean, there were a couple names that I, yeah, I wish I could have gotten, but you know, that's sometimes just the way that these things go, but. Honestly, all this has done for me has made me realize how much I love Pixar and how much I need to rewatch all of the Pixar movies. But yeah, I, I, I don't know, this is super fun. I, I know more about Pixar than I thought I knew. And I am a super fan as I, as I do this interview in real life. Well, this has been MTV's Fanning Out. I had a bunch of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.